Welcome back to A Day in the Life with King, guys. We are here, and we'll be doing multi-gaming day. We're going to start off with a raid that's live, and we're going to do all archers in this raid. And look at this. Quite a bit of loot to be stolen. Let's see how this goes. It's just going to be completely live and random and fun gameplay. So bear with me. It's just going to be a longer video, about 10, 11 minutes. I'll cut it at wherever we're at then. I'll probably show. Uh, we'll start out with Clash. Obviously, I'm just dropping my troops in a circle here, guys. Um, and then we will probably go over to Boom Beach and then maybe Plunder Pirates. So anyone who's interested in those games, stay tuned all the way to the end of this video. And uh, if you guys want to see other games on this channel, make sure you comment below what games you want to see more of. I do have a Dr. Terror 20-minute extended play going up tomorrow, so don't miss that, guys. That's going to be interesting. And I'll also have another Clash video going up tomorrow. So if you want to see Clash and Boom, check out tomorrow and come back and see that, obviously. All right, so right now, uh, just basically dragging out this king, killing him, and trying to get these clan castle troops over here, but not doing so well. I don't like the fact that there's a healer. Uh, obviously, healers actually can be pretty decent on defense. I've had them kind of ruin attacks as far as being able to heal up. Like, for example, let me put it this way. If you have a couple archers shooting a town hall, right, and that's all you have left, and the healer comes over and starts shooting the town hall and protecting it, she can heal it as fast as the archers can shoot it. So that's why I don't want to risk it. That's why I'm dragging her all the way out there and killing her now. Right right now, killing her. Boom, there she is. And she's dead, fallen angel. There we go. So now we're going to kill these giants. And I'm not doing a great job on this raid, honestly. Wow. Kind of bad for a live commentated raid. Oh, my God. Just dropping lightning on these. Trying to get rid of some of these other defenses, not just the mortars. Um, going to drop my third lightning over here. Take out this cannon and archer. And hopefully more. Awesome. Got them all. Oh, yeah, we did get them all. Nice. All right, so now we're going to drop our king down after we take out these. Oh, my God. I forgot to take out the outside buildings. Guys, just spammed out a bunch of archers. We got to get rid of these. Dang. This king is going to go all the way. Oh, my God. I was counting on the king, guys, to actually take the heat from this wizard tower and bury, like, bury in. Excuse me. Wow. Oh, this is not going to go well. This is really bad. Okay, so I'm just going to rage the king here in a second. This is bad news. I'm hoping he'll survive. Maybe he'll go back in towards the center if I enrage him. Well, she, well, my God, he went out. Damn. We're just going to go ahead and call a surrender and move on. The second game we'll be playing today in the day of the life with King will be Boom Beach. So as you can see, I have a ton of money saved up, guys. And what should I upgrade? Let's see here. Oh, look at that. All right, cool. So we have a bunch of stuff we can build. Um, obviously, we've been doing Dr. Terror. He is here. If you guys didn't do him already. Oh, man, he's gone. Never mind. He gone. He already left for the day. I was wrong. We'll do an attack, and then we will go ahead and upgrade something. We'll choose it as we attack. Let's just attack the first one we find. And here we go. Okay, so what's the threat here? Wow, this guy's super underleveled. If I lose anybody, I'm going to be kind of pissed at myself. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and start. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like these. All right, so we're just going to drop everybody right there on the beach. And then we're going to drop that one little missile there. And then we're going to worry about... Taking out as many of these as possible. We obviously don't really care about the defenses. We just want to make sure we take out the mines. Because mines can be really deadly to your troops. Especially if they're badly placed. If you like accidentally don't maneuver your troops properly. They can be devastating. Ooh, almost got my Zookas there. That's not good. Alright, so we're actually going to take out that one defense there. Got to get rid of that cannon. And now we are going to shock that tower. The archer. Or sniper tower. Excuse me. God. Playing way too much Clash, calling it Archer Tower. Throwing myself off. Nope, go away. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Shit. That's why you guys got to avoid those bombs. That is some seriously bad news that you do not want to have to deal with. And as we can see here, we're doing a decent job, though. We're clearing the whole thing pretty much. So we are going to probably be able to get rid of most of this without much more of a problem. Now, we're going to actually push everyone back toward this one point. I'm going to actually smoke them and throw a heal aka med kit on them if you guys are clash fans healing equals med kit med kit equals healing same shit different game same company so i'm gonna call whatever i want anyway so here comes the zookas They're all gonna fire at once now which is really cool love that and they absolutely annihilate the hq so an easy win poorly done to be honest uh, i've done a lot better attacks a little rusty i haven't been playing much I was, I mean, I play like every day or every other day, but I don't really attack often because I'm not trying to push my medals 
and I just come on and basically farm. I just come from, like, basically look for the biggest loot. For example, if it's like 42, I'll go find new opponent, and then I'll see what's going on with that one. And I'll wait for it to regen and say, okay, I could go to another person now. So I'll just basically do it every day where I scout and check out what bases are available. This one's got a decent amount of gold if I need gold, so I'll save that one. But uh, yeah, so basically I do Dr. Terror for the most part and just save up a ton of loot that way. And you can see here just getting all these shards built up. Now what should we work on? Oh, man, I really want to do my launcher, but I feel like my shock launcher is more important than my rocket launcher. So I'm going to do this one because it costs a lot. So we got that one done pretty solid. Our upgrade area, we finally got upgraded. We were actually able to, oh, we'll do the smoke. Nice. But guys, we did just get level 18 headquarters and level 16 armory, which is huge. I'm super proud of that, guys. I can't believe I actually finally got that level 18. That is ridiculous, which means I can actually build. Hold on a sec, guys. Sorry. I can actually build, if you didn't notice, those uh, scorchers. So I'll be doing a scorcher video real soon. And that'll be a lot of fun. I know a lot of people will probably be looking forward to that. Not many people have Scorchers. I mean, like, Nick at Night is, like, a maxed out base. Been playing forever. Ooh, look at this. A masterpiece I can build. There we go. We're going to build that one. And we'll call it a day for that. Let's go to the next game. And, of course, it is Plun. If you guys like this game, make sure to tell me below. I may be doing it a little more often now. I'm actually going to start attacking a lot more in this game. I have not in the past necessarily done many attacks. Uh, just because... Look at my base. I've been upgrading it naturally just by building my mines up. And that is actually working for me very, very well. So, didn't see any problem with that. Didn't see any reason to actually change it. But let's go do a battle and we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can get something really good in. And uh, that would be nice to get a nice win. But let's see. What can we find here? I don't know. I've got a lot of loot. So, I have to be impressed. Let's see if we can find something fast. If not, I will cut it. 236,000 is nice, but wow, look at that maxed out. Dang, that's crazy. He is super high level, but he doesn't even have that much loot. Now, let's see here. Maybe we can find one. You know what? I'm going to cut it, and then I will be right back with the raid. All right, guys, we're back, and we found this base here. Now, I don't like the base, honestly, because it is super, super strong. So I'm going to drop, like, one little guy on each of these to attack, take out some of those outside percentages, see if there's anything else we can get anything else here no not really wow now i'm praying guys i'm really praying that uh the loot is in here so let's find out if it's there if it's not we're kind of screwed so i am hoping that that's what it, oh my god look at these cannons so legit this is crazy this base is really awesome actually guys uh he's got a lot of traps here too it looks like let's just see what happens i need to get oh man i need to find one i can get from all right so i think Unfortunately, okay, so some of the loot is in the, okay, cool. We're going to go for it, whatever. We're not going to win a ton, but we're going to win something, right? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Go. All right, we're going to go for the gold. That's all I need. Yeah, look at how much gold is there. Nice. We're taking a ton of this gold. That's pretty solid. I'm okay with that. Oh, my God, they went through the fire. That's crazy. Look at this. I have one of these, too, but that's insanity. Why are they doing that? They. Oh, my God, that's crazy. So we did win about half the gold there, and it looks like we're going to lose this one, obviously. But we did win quite a bit of gold, and that's what I was looking for. I love the 3D rendering of this game. That's crazy. That Oh, my God. What? I need to... Oh, my God. That's a great trick. It has a wall behind it, but for some reason, your troops actually walk right through it. I don't know why they would do that, but that's really smart. Wow. I never thought of that before. This guy's definitely got a really cool base. I'm going to end it here, though. I'm going to surrender. Actually, can I even get it? Hold on. What percentage are we at? 6%. Nope. Not going to happen. We're going to back out, guys. We're going to call it quits. We obviously are going to lose anyway. And that was about it. But that's just a pretty poor attack on my part. I really just wanted the loot. As I said, I do a lot of stuff just for loot. And as you can see, now my stuff should be full because awesome. Look at that. All right. So here's a good trick, guys. If you go explore the seas, right? And you come over here and you got your, oh, nice. I just completed a journey. Pretty solid, pretty solid. As you can see, got some gold. And here we go. Open this up. Now, we're going to send these guys off and they're going to go basically over here. Now, once you do that, those guys are all busy. So you cannot use them to attack. Now, what you can do, though, is go here, recruit troops, and you can build up an entire army, right? Now, let's say I want six of those guys and I want like 20 of these. And then the rest I'll just put as these guys. All right, cool. 
So that's my army right now. Now these will all build and I can actually go attack while my ship is at sea. So I have 35 guys at sea or whatever right now. All of them going that way. And once I am done with this journey, well, whoever's still alive after fighting this fish, we will, uh, big fish, excuse me, we will be able to use them for our next fight. So that's pretty cool. You can actually build basically two armies at once. Uh, one for attacking on global, on fighting a rival captain, and the other for exploring the seas. So that's a little trick for you guys. If you never knew that, go ahead and use it. Uh, this is my base, though. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more videos, guys, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.